Virgo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Virgo, this is an energy reading, not a horoscope. So it's wherever Virgo influences your natal chart or influences your life, if you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, there is always an extended reading that is a full tarot card spread that articulates and draws and draws out specifics and personalizes these energies that we pick up on here and it includes a romantic reading as well so if you're interested please do stop on by um the link is below in the description box uh, there are no more dates on on these videos they come to you when they're supposed to but i do upload a new video for virgos every single week so if you'd like to get them fresh off the press please do subscribe to the channel you will help the channel grow and you can also ring that bell so you can get notifications and get the videos as soon as i upload them okay virgo let's get into this energy Virgo, 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 messages for Virgo, messages for Virgo, coming out the back, okay, subtlety, subtlety, subtleties, this always ends up being like something that you know you have to do, but simultaneously, um, it's like, it's not that you don't want to do it, it's that you don't want a lot of focus or you don't want to do it in, in full view. No, that doesn't mean that you're sneaking around necessarily. Um, it just means that sometimes you're just done and go. And you don't, you're not thinking about it, making a big statement with it. You're just allowing it to happen and letting it flow. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Interesting energy. You're not playing around. That's what's crowning your reading. The reading is simply that you're not playing around. Um, you're not playing around and you're not watching your words. You're saying what you need to say um, or somebody isn't playing around with you and they're coming out and you, you have been on the receiving end of harsh words. This energy came out in reverse. So this is watch your words. Somebody's not watching their words and not playing around anymore. There's a sense of no more hiding, no more hide and seek, no more pretenses. Um, it's like the gloves have come off. And uh, this could be very liberating, a sense of, of being able to finally say what you need to say. Um, but it's also a sense of being very pugilistic and um, defending yourself. And because that's what it is, it's like being playful. You're not being playful. This is like almost like like either being held underwater or or digging in deep, you know, rooting down and uh, taking a stand or not letting yourself be bullied or um, uh, like not put. Yeah, like not letting yourself be bullied or pushed around. Um, there is a sense of needing to say something, needing to get something off of your chest. There is a sense of not really caring if somebody's insulted by it or not thinking first if somebody's insulted by it. Just allowing the words to fly because you need to get them out um, without a concern or even, you know, without definitely without much thought, but without a concern for how it's going to be received or perceived. Um, that's really not in your wheelhouse right now. This is your crowning energy, the energy of just speaking, um, um, sp speaking, um, I don't want to say truthfully. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily aligned with the truth, but it's definitely speaking um, without a concern or care for the ears that are picking it up or how it's being received. Um, this could also be something that you've been experiencing as well. Um, yeah. Time to let go. Three plus one. Something has been nagging you. Something has been getting to your heart. Something has been suppressed and pushed down. This is that, that yeah, this is that energy of... Um, Whatever has been bugging you, whatever has been bothering you, releasing it and letting it all out, like laying it bare, uncovering all those hidden passageways, those tunnels that have been dug. It's almost like you could be revealing too much Virgos or somebody could be saying too much to you, like, like 
like talking too much or letting you know too much that you didn't really want to know because your world was more grounded when things were hidden. It's like, can we have some censorship here, please? Because I don't need to know all of this. And now it's getting to you or bothering you or whatever was on your chest or somebody else's chest just basically coming out and it's almost like diarrhea of the mouth. That's what this energy is, like diarrhea of the mouth. And you're not playing around, you're not joking, but simultaneously it's like, it's like, what do I do with this information? I don't really want it all. But it's like, it, it, it does have to come out, but I'm not sure that it's coming out in the right ways. Um, bring your ideas to life. Two plus four is six, which is the energy of love. This is something sparking, something flying out, something coming off, something starting, but it could be like... Um, it could be the, the Frankenstein monster. You know what I'm saying? In other words, having done something spontaneous, just letting it spew and not really necessarily have thought it out, thinking it out really uh, carefully, um, uh, letting your ideas flow, like, and just taking a leap or diving in, being so concerned with getting something done that the particulars and this is really different energy for you that the details and the particulars were not things that you thought of you just you just needed it to happen there is a, an incessant need for action and activity here um learn from the past so this is stubbornness. This is Taurus energy of not letting something go, of pushing things forward, of being certain. And it's all because of what you've learned from the past. This is the energy of uh, five plus two, two plus five equals seven. So creation, creative, it just in knowing because you've learned, because through experience, you're basically hard-headed and insistent. So there's something here that you've learned, knowledge that has come to light or, or an energy that you've gotten or a confidence that you've gotten or um, basically giving into that incessive need without necessarily thinking things through because you've already been through this, because you have the experience to know. You don't have to sit around. It's almost like you're not worried about the plans because the past has prepared you. It's like you're not worried about the plans for the future or how this is going to play out because the past has taught you that either you know what you're doing and you can get through this and that you'll deal with it and that you are protected. Hmm. Spirit has your back. Oh, this is looking better, right? This is the energy of change, change. So you being the one that creates the change. This is leadership. This is Capricornian energy. This is rules, laws, regulations. You could be setting the rules and the laws into place. You could be creating a whole new structure right now. That's kind of what this is. This is your central energy too. I don't know if you're dealing with a Capricorn, a sense of, of giving something else structure, being the structure, being what builds things up, uh, like letting yourself be that energy of, um, of defining how things are going to go. Um, It could also be being done with the law, being done with the rule book, which is not necessarily for you guys, but becoming the rule book. That's not necessarily the, this could be also dealing with somebody that's close to your heart. Hold on, let's get into this deeper. Co-create with spirit, the energy of eight, death. This is divine intervention, and it's also connecting in faith. Two air energies, so seeing things from a higher perspective, knowing that you have to make decisions for from an aerial view, and I don't think it's working for you. I, I think that there, there's this energy of taking something personally when it's not supposed to be. Time to collaborate. Ooh. Hold on. This is definitely making a decision that now is the time to move forward with ideas that you've had for a long time. 
ideas that have been building inside of you. And um, letting them out, getting started. This is just the beginning of something. That's what it is. It, 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 it doesn't, it, it's not irresponsible or even spontaneous it, it, to not have roots yet. It's like you're, you're literally, you're not even laying the groundwork yet because you're prospecting of where you're going to lay the groundwork, but you're definitely working on something. Um, this, this is also a, a speaking to partnership, collaboration. So finding who you're going to work with because you thrive in being able to basically instruct others or guide others, but you need the others to be there. It's not something that you want to do by yourself. So this is a communal or partnership, some sort of partnership that you are organizing and arranging. And it's, it's progressing. This is Gemini energy also ruled by Mercury. And it's building momentum. It's, it's picking up speed. And it's bringing people together. It's combining things. So I feel like you are literally taking on a managerial role. I, I, I know that sounds crazy, but um, it's, it's like you are managing something. You are instruct. You are, where the, you are where the conduit for instruction is coming from. Grounding your energy. Spirit has a plan. This is also the energy of eight. This is all divine timing and destiny. This is also leadership, overseeing, looking, looking over from afar, being the guider, being, being the, the guru, being the guru. Time to heal. This is that kundalini energy, being really energized and inspired. In other words, having a lot of energy and enthusiasm for what you are doing and participating in. Let it shine. Energy of 10. Being mature. Leadership role. You being the guiding light. And you, this is once again with that, that vocal, that, 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 vo that voice that throat chakra of using your voice to guide and to lead, to be the leadership, to be the way forward and the light coming out of the dark, transcending yourself, maybe even surprising yourself. Because like I said, this isn't necessarily something that you had planned on, but you have the experience, you have the wisdom, You, it's like you've already... You, you're, you're prepared for it because of what you've already been through. So the pre preparation and the scheduling, you don't need that structure. You already have the internal structure to deal with this. And that's why you're out front. Shining the light so everybody else can, can see the way. Nothing is wasted. You are teaching people how to make the best out of a difficult situation. This is finding treasure in a trash heap. Literally, step by step and pedantically helping people to organize and focus themselves and pick things out. Pick, pick, um, pick little things out. Pick the good from the bad. See the good from the bad. And then discipline their minds and teach them how to go about life or get through this moment, get through whatever you're doing. This is literally you taking everything that you are and applying it to the organization of others so that they can benefit. That's your grounding energy, Virgo. I want to flip the camera around to, sh to share the cards with you. Hold on. So your grounding energy is solid. You got four cards. Four is that solid number of certainty. Being extremely passionate. Extremely passionate. Or seeing the dangers ahead and showing everybody. So that they don't get laid waste to, or they don't waste an opportunity. Helping them navigate. Who was I saying navigating landmines? That was a Libra energy. Maybe even having seen something coming from miles away. And been able to, at the very least, if other people didn't want to listen to you, pick out the opportunities for yourself. 
but this is having seen something coming from a mile away. Maybe even had mentioned it or said it or talked about it. There's a lot of premonition here. About knowing two people were going to get together, about knowing a partnership was going to happen, about knowing this collaboration was going to happen, knowing an offer was going to be made to you and now seeing it come to fruition. This is foresight. There's a lot of foresight going on in this reading. Of, of knowing, seeing something coming because of your past experiences. So this is almost like history repeating itself, Virgo. And you being the authority in the circumstance because you were there the first time it happened. And so now the second time through, you're assuming that leadership role of, well, this is how you get through it. I can navigate because I understand it. I've been here before. But this crowning energy is, is, is a kind of the mystery of, and I think maybe that just means you're not holding back. You're not dicking around here. You're speaking with authority. You don't care how you sound. You don't care how people perceive you because you know that you're right. And I know that we got that energy for you last week of being extremely certain about yourself, but now it's the application of that energy, of that self-certainty working through your voice and making you take that authority to just assign what needs to be assigned and decide what needs to be decided. Either that or you're living with somebody who's extremely structured and superimposing that structure on you. But in some ways, you are thriving in that energy. Or let me, let me go back, maybe not thriving in that energy, but um, learning how to navigate that energy, trying to make the most out of it, like seeing ahead of time or above where the, the dangers are, like where the landmines are, or and being able to avoid them and just focus on or pick out the good stuff. Hmm. I want to see where this ends up. Let's go over to the extended. I'm going to pull your um, romance reading as well. The link is below Virgo. I will see you over there.